Happy morning, students. Today I am going to explain a topic from the chapter Consumer Security. So, Consumer Security. First, we have to know the meaning of Consumer Security. So, Consumer. Who are the consumer? We are the consumer. What will be our main economic activity to consume goods and services to satisfy our wants or needs? Okay. So, in case of consumer's equilibrium, how we know that we will attain equilibrium position? We have to purchase the good in such a way that we will get maximum level of satisfaction when your income will be given to you, income of the consumer will be given to you, and the price of the commodity the consumer is going to purchase that will be given to the consumer. When income will be given and price of the good will be given to the consumer, the consumer will spend his income in such a way to purchase a good or one good or two good, whatever the number of goods be, so that he will get maximum level of satisfaction. That situation will be known as equilibrium situation of the consumer. There are two approaches of consumer's equilibrium. One is utility analysis, another is indifference curve analysis. With the help of these two analyses, we can explain how the consumer will attain equilibrium. Here, I have taken one question from consumer's equilibrium chapter, which is related with indifference curve approach. In indifference curve approach, we have seen that a consumer will attain equilibrium when the budget line will be tangent to the indifference curve. So many indifference curves will be there. Some will be beyond the reach of the consumer. Some will be within the reach of the consumer. So accordingly, the consumer will choose that indifference curve which will give the consumer maximum level of satisfaction. So how the consumer will be able to know his maximum level of satisfaction? where the budget line will be tangent to the indifference curve. So, so that budget line, I have given a question related with the budget line. We have to know the meaning of budget line. Okay. So what is the meaning of budget line? It is the graphical presentation. It is the graphical presentation of purchasing two goods by a consumer with his given income and prices of the two goods will be given to the consumer. So, the consumer will purchase the good which will give the, the expenditure or spending of both the goods must be equal to the income of the consumer. So, what is the simple meaning? Budget line will show the purchasing capacity of a person. How we will be able to know the purchasing capacity of a person? Suppose income M is rupees 50. My income M it is denoted by a profession. And the two good I am purchasing good X and good Y. Now it is assumed that price of good X is rupees 10 per unit. And the price of good Y is rupees 5 per unit. Okay. Now, let me take one combination of good X and good Y. Suppose PA, what is the equation of the budget line? A equals to PX into QX plus PY into QY. Just I told you, the budget line will show that the purchasing capacity of the consumer to purchase good in different combinations. So, see, here I have taken A over here as 50. Okay? Now, the consumer is purchasing two units of good X. It is 2. It is 10. So, and PY is given as rupees 10. How much quantity of Y will be purchased by the consumer? It is 50 equals to 10 to the 20 plus 10 into QY, okay, which implies 50 equals to 10 to the 20 plus 10 into QY. What we are observing, 50 minus 20 equals to 10 into 
q y it is 30 equals to 10 into q y so therefore how much how much quantity the consumer will purchase of food y it is 3 units so when the consumer will purchase 2 units of food x he will be able to purchase 3 units of food y so that is the equation of the budget here see i am telling this equation with this equation that is the equation of the budget here 500 rupees it is income of the consumer 20 is the price of food x and x stands for quantity purchased of food x 10 is price of food y and y is price of the quantity purchase of food y now from this equation we are going to solve the question ok what is the answer of the first question first question it is asked what will be the slope of the budget line as we know slope of the budget line there are there are two formulae to measure the slope of the budget line one is delta y by delta x another one is px by py px upon py ok now see uh, the coefficient of x is 20 that is px equals to given as rupees 20 and the coefficient of y is that is 10 that is it is rupees 10 now how to find out we have to put a minus sign over here what for the budget line is sloping downward from left to right that is the shape of the budget line ok so as because it is sloping downward from left to right the slope will we have to put minus sign before the formula slope of the budget line so how much is the price of good x rupees 20 rupees 20 and how much is the price of food by rupees 10 cancel rupees rupees 0 0 cancel it is minus 2 that is the answer of the first question what is the slope of the budget line next question we have to solve that is question number 2 what is given in question number 2 I am going to have this question because less space is there I, so that I can solve the second question. How many units would the he be able to buy if the entire service of rupees 500 is to be spent on good x only? So take the equation of the budget line. Okay, 20x plus 10y equals to 500. So he is not, not purchasing any amount of good y. He is spending whole amount of good y, uh, the whole amount of income to purchase good x. So it is 20 into uh, whole amount that is x plus 10 into 0. He is not purchasing, he is spending whole amount to purchase good x. So purchase of good y will be nil. That is why we are putting 0 over here. Now we have to find out how many units of good x he will be able to purchase if he spend the whole income for the purchase of good x. 500. It is 20x 10 plus 0, 10 to 10 0 plus 0. So we are not, it is you can write down it, no problem is there. Next one is 20x equals to 500 minus 0, it is 500. Therefore, x equals to 500 by 20. 500 by 20, 0, 0, cancel, 2, 20, 5, 0. So, how many units of good x he will purchase when he will spend the whole amount of good is 500, 25 units. So, that is the meaning of the second question. When he will spend the whole amount of money to purchase good x, the purchase of good y will be nil, that is 0. So in this way, if we are going to calculate the value of x, the value of x will be coming as 25 units. Now, now let me explain the third question. Let me explain the third question. What is
is asking third question. Question number three. Construct a new budget line equation if the price of good wife falls by 50%. What is the price of good wife? In the original equation, you see price of good wife is It is rupees 10. Okay, 10 per unit. 10 per unit. Now it is falling by 50%. So 50% of rupees 10 equals to 50 by 100 into rupees 10, 50 to the 100 to 5 It is coming as rupees 5. So what will be that? By, it is told that, it is told that it is decreasing by 50%. What so will be the price of Dubai? Rupees 10 minus rupees 5 equals to rupees 5. Now we have to find out the another equation of the budget line when the price of good wife will be rupees 5 per unit. Now let me write the original equation 20x plus the when the price was 10, we have written 10. But here the price has changed to rupees 5. We have to put 5y. Okay? Equals to 5y. There is no change in income. There is no change in price of good X. Only there is change in the price of good Y. Whatever changes will be there, price of good Y. After calculating it, whatever value will get, that you will put over here and get the new equation budget line. It is so only also write the, write the slope of the budget line. And now construct a new budget line. It is the construction of new budget line. And you have to find out the slope of slope of Slope of new budget line equals to again minus what for we are putting the minus sign? Invert due to inverse CSRC. As because the budget line is sloping downwards from left to right. Px upon T y. Now put the values. So Px is given as 20. And PY we have got as 5. How much it is coming? 20 divided by 5. Rupees rupees will be cancelled. Rupees rupees will be cancelled. It will be simply 20 by 5. It is 4. The value of the slope of the value of the slope of new budget line is coming as minus 4. Thank you, students.